These LED tubes come in a selection of lengths. They're designed to be a modern, energy-saving alternative to fluorescent tube light fixtures. The manufacturing process begins with the printed circuit board. Printed means the board has a network of conductive copper lines and rectangular pads. It's designed to electrically link components. A technician places the circuit board on a track, which ferries it to the first computer-guided machine on the line. The machine covers the board with a metal stencil. The stencil has openings matching the locations where the electronic components will be mounted to the board. The machine spreads a layer of lead-free tin alloy solder over the stencil. This applies solder to the board only where the components go. The next computer-guided machine on the line mounts the first of those components, the light-emitting diodes or LEDs. They're composed of a microchip coated with a chemical phosphor and come in different sizes, colors, and light outputs. The factory programs the machine's chip shooter to pick the required LEDs off supply reels and place them on the solder-coated locations on the circuit board. The chip shooter works at an astonishing speed, placing up to 40,000 LEDs per hour. A camera trained on the board verifies that every LED's position is dead on. The circuit board moves to a third computer-guided machine for the next electronic component, the terminals. They receive the electric current to power the LED light tube. The machine picks up one terminal at a time and places it on the circuit board. The circuit board moves into the final machine on this line, a tunnel oven. The temperature inside peaks at about 460 degrees Fahrenheit. The heat melts the solder, fusing the components to the board. Solder is both adhesive and conductive. The bond connects the components to the board's copper electrical network. For the high light output tube they're making in this run, each board is comprised of eight strips. Each strip has dual rows of LEDs. They snap them into 12-inch strips. The tube length they're making requires four strips. A technician slides one with the terminal and three without into an aluminum track. He gives them a visual inspection, then solders the strips to each other.